Mayor Bowser got behind the controls of this excavator and started the demolition of the old Wendy's building. It's considered one of the most hazardous intersections in the district, traveled by 80,000 vehicles a day, as well as pedestrians and cyclists who dare to navigate the crossroads of New York and Florida Avenues and First Street Northeast. Joe Bishop Henchman has lived in the neighborhood for 10 years. Everybody in the neighborhood knows somebody that's gotten into an accident here, been injured here. My best friend was hit by a car right over there, so it's long overdue. We all know this is just kind of an accident on the map, and uh, it's, it, I'm glad we're finally fixing it. The intersection is a mishmash of diagonal streets, some of them one way, unforgiving traffic signals and signs, and little room for bicycles or pedestrians. Sometimes we've gotten transportation projects right, but this isn't one of them. When the project is complete at the end of next year, there will be protected bike lanes, three new parks, and all the roads will be two-way instead of one-way. It'll finally connect our community with the rest of D.C. We, this is just kind of a giant moat that, uh, that divides us, a little island right here. Um, and uh, hopefully it means a lot more safety and a lot less chaos for drivers on two very important roads. The $42 million project is part of Mayor Bowser's Vision Zero plan to reduce the number of people killed and injured on our streets. But it comes as those numbers are going up. 28 people killed in traffic crashes so far this year, a 33% increase over last year. It is clear just on the numbers that we are not headed in the right direction when it comes to Vision Zero and safer streets. Deaths, injuries, near misses. I don't believe we're making the gains and headed in the right direction on Vision Zero. But I also believe that, as the mayor said, projects like this will be part of how we turn that around. From what was once known as Dave Thomas Circle, Mark Seagraves, News 4. End of an era there. Now, the Wendy's that had been there at that intersection was there since the 80s. The district took the property using eminent domain and paid $14 million for that piece of land. Now, you can go online to vote on a new name for the intersection. The finalists being considered are Douglas Crossing, for Frederick Douglas, obviously, Mamie Peanut Johnson Plaza, after the D.C. woman who became the first woman to pitch in the Negro Leagues, the People's Plaza, the Three Star Plaza for the flag, or the Tiber Gateway, which pays homage to the old Tiber Creek, which was an original waterway that ran through the city. Hmm. Never knew that before this. Hmm. Could just, options. Could have just named it PTSD Square. <laughs> that's, that's what it gave us. That's what it gave us.